Did you know that brands and businesses that share their journey on social media tend to get higher views, higher engagement and better leads because they build trust and emotional connect with their audience? And that's why in today's video, we'll show you how you can turn simple text from your brand's About Us page into an engaging Instagram reel for your business completely using the power of AI tools like ChatGPT and NVIDIA. And don't worry, you don't need any special copywriting or video editing skills. You don't even need to come in front of the camera. All you need is text that you've probably already written for your website or LinkedIn page. So make sure you subscribe and let's get started. The first step is to finalize the text you are going to use for your video. It is likely that you already have an About Us section on your website. In that case, just go ahead and copy that text and paste it in a doc file and then slightly edit it a little bit to highlight important milestones in your brand's journey. In this case, we are doing this for a small business owner who sells handcrafted coffee cups and mugs. If you don't have a page like this or if you don't have anything written down yet, don't worry. You just quickly need to think and jot down your brand's milestones in four or five bullet points so that you have all of the important aspects of your journey written down. And then move on to step two. Now, once you have your highlights, you want to use ChatGPT to turn it into an engaging script for an Instagram Reel or TikTok video. Start by logging into your ChatGPT account and we are going to use the prompt box at the bottom of the screen to give the AI prompts for the kind of video you want. Remember that the results you get are as good as the prompts you write. So make sure you include the following key elements in your prompt. The type of business you have, the target audience you have, what duration you want your video to be, the tonality of the video and any additional details you want to include in the final video. So when you're writing the prompt for this particular video, you will need to first paste your entire text, your highlight text in the prompt box and then use these prompt cues to guide the AI to write the kind of script you want. So for this Pottery Studio business, this is the kind of prompt that we'll write. Now, once you press enter, ChatGPT creates the script in real time. It does take a couple of minutes, depending on how long you want your video to be. And once you have your first draft, read through to see if you want any changes. If you do, just give it additional prompts. Often, it doesn't take more than one or two iterations to get the kind of script you want. Now, once you have your script, it's time to create your video. For this, log into InVideo and then go to the text to video workflow in the dashboard. This is one of the easiest workflows to create a video with. Here you will find a library of templates to choose from. So make sure you select the vertical aspect ratio from the left menu since we are creating this for Instagram and then scroll through to find a template that fits in with the theme of your video, primarily in terms of transitions and text animations. Everything else can be customized once you start editing. Now, once you've chosen your template, go ahead and click on use template to go to the editor. Here you have your main canvas area where you will see your scenes on the right side of the screen and then you have your script box on the left. Now all you need to do is simply copy the script that ChatGPT has given you and paste it in the script box. Make sure you break down any longer sentences and paragraphs by pressing enter. I like to do this so that there's not a lot of text on each scene and it's easily readable for the viewer. Then select the box for auto-suggesting media and make sure that premium stock media options are also selected. Then click on create scenes and in video will then create video scenes for the entire script in real time. Now, once your scenes are created, you can go ahead and replace the automatically selected media with something different if you feel that it is not relevant. Ideally for this part, you want to have your own video clips and images to tell the story in the most compelling way. To use those, you will simply need to use the upload tab in the left menu and upload your own media. In case you don't have your own media or you need additional media to supplement your storytelling, you can use InVideo's inbuilt media library to find relevant clips and images. Simply go to the video tab in the left menu and then use the search bar to search for the kind of clips you want. Use a few different keyword combinations to get the right results. And once you find a clip you like, you will simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. This will open up another pop-up window where you want to hit replace. This will open up another pop-up window where you want to trim the duration of the clip to match the duration of the scene. Select this option at the bottom of the screen that says trim video to fit scene and then click on add and your media will replace the template default. 
you can similarly replace any template media with an image as well. You will just need to go to the image tab in the left menu for that. Now, once your media is updated, you want to go ahead and make adjustments to the text. And you can use the menu on top of the canvas to do so to change your font, the color, the animation, or even add effects to your text. I actually like all of those things for now, so I am going to let them stay as is. Now, once your media is locked, it's time to add your voiceover. This is super important if you want your videos to be engaging and don't want viewers dropping off. Ideally, you want to record your own voiceover because people connect better with an actual human voice. And this is super easy to do on InVideo. You can just use the record your voiceover option and record it within the editor itself. We suggest that you record your voice in a quiet room and enunciate properly to have the intended effect. But if you're just starting out and need the initial help to get your social media off the ground, you can also go for InVideo's automated text-to-speech voiceover. This will be similar to the AI voices that Instagram and TikTok have on their platform as well. Simply go to the voiceover option at the bottom of the screen and this will switch you over to the editor workflow on InVideo, but you don't need to get confused. Simply click on the option for the automated text-to-speech voiceover in the drop-down window that appears. This will open up a window on the left where you can choose the language and the voice you want for your voiceover. Needless to say, but choose a voice of your own gender and then you can use this little preview option here to see what it sounds like. I loved making art as a child. Once you're happy with the results, click on generate and InVideo will automatically generate the entire voiceover for you. And you will see a voiceover layer added beneath the music layer on the timeline and the timing of the scenes automatically adjusted to the timing of the narration. Now, the next thing you want to do is delete the pre-existing music track that comes with the template. Now, this is because you want to use a trending soundtrack from Instagram or TikTok to give your video more reach. If you also have this template soundtrack, it will just clash with the audio on Instagram. So you don't want this. Simply select the music track on the timeline and then just hit delete on your keyboard to delete it. And with that, your video is ready. Once you are satisfied with everything, click on the play button underneath the canvas to preview what your video looks like. I loved making art as a child, but as life got busy, I lost my connection with it. It wasn't until my mid-30s that I was hit with an overwhelming drive to create again. I started with drawings and paintings, but then I got a chance to attend my first pottery class and I was hooked. And that led to the birth of fledgling studios. It gave me a chance to blend my love for clean lines, minimal designs and bold colors with my love for pottery. And that's how these cute mugs were born. Now it fills my heart with warmth every time I see a piece of my heart and soul adding joy to a special person's home. And that looks pretty good. Once you are satisfied with the results, go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. Now, if at any point during this entire process you faced any difficulty or are not able to figure out how to proceed, you can use this chat option right above the timeline to speak to our 24-7 support team. The response time is less than 30 seconds. And alternatively, you can also go to help.invideo.io to refer to the massive library of resources that we have on using InVideo. Now, once your video is rendered, download it and then upload it to Instagram. Make sure you use the music icon to look for a trending soundtrack, which is represented by this arrow icon next to it. And then add it to your video and then use the volume controls to lower the volume of the soundtrack to about two or three. And I was hooked. And that led to the birth of fledgling studios. And then go ahead and upload your reel how you normally would. And that's how you can easily turn text into engaging social media videos without having to spend hours creating content. Don't forget to subscribe for more video creation tips and tricks. And don't forget to check out this video next to learn how you can turn a blog post into a YouTube video. And this one to learn how you can create your own faceless YouTube channel.